That was a paper treating you. Oh, fair. Yeah, no complaints. They didn't, they didn't give me a free lunch today. I'm uh, I noticed that. <laughs> That's what I told them, man. I didn't eat because you fed us all year last year. And now I, now I get nothing, here and there's nothing, nothing there. And Panda Express stepped up to take care of that. So. Are they with the new shoe, too? Uh-huh. Sweet stuff.
か。Absolutely. Compared to last year, that was horrible. <laughs> I'd be hard pressed to come up with a worse uniform. You know, I、uh, I enjoyed the jerseys itself being different. You know, away from the norm that you usually see. But they were so heavy. They were so thick. The players absolutely hated them. Oh, I didn't even know about the material. Horrible. I mean, it was like wearing almost like a jacket. It was that thick, like a sweatshirt. Um, and、uh, you know how Under Armour and Nike fit real tight to you. These ones are really loose, so a lot of the players ended up having to cut the bottom of the. I mean, it was a bad deal last year. And then this year, I got them hooked up with my、uh, with my Under Armour and Nike account, so they ended up buying、uh, Under Armour uniforms this year. So, what's it say across the front? It says、uh, New Mexico. New Mexico stars. Yeah. What do they say? Stars on the back, or is that their name? That's their name. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. The, on the back, I think it's stars. I don't know what they did on the back of it. Because、yeah, they all look like they're short names. So yeah. It, it's their names. Because they all look like they're the same length. That's why. They do. I tell you, I like these black ones a heck of a lot better than I do the white ones. That white one, the color scheme doesn't even make sense. With the road? Yeah, they got like yellow or red numbers and yellow name. I don't know. It's strange. I don't understand how they did that. But see, I have my own uniform company though, so that's why I'm real. I'm a stickler when it comes to that kind of stuff, you know. Not that I'm aware of, no. That's the strangest thing ever. So, last year when I was a general manager, I was only a general manager for like three months, and and then they—it's a long story. But anyways, we were we have a deal with the ESPN station here in town, but for whatever reason they don't come out and broadcast the game. They broadcast their national all that stuff. Yet they won't allow us to go out and bring in any other radio station. So I remember talking to one of the owners, maybe it was Jerry or somebody or Dart. They were saying any one radio here will cut back on、uh, fans. That that was brought up. Well, what we had talked about doing when I was general manager was doing radio on road games, and then doing the B2 network, which is what I'm doing when we're here. You know, but they wanted to drive sales. You're exactly right. They wanted to drive sales towards the internet games. You know, where you can watch anywhere in the country. So, and I've been watching a lot of the games, and I, I, I really believe that our,、uh, we have one of the best TV film crews here because you'll you'll watch some of those games and the things shaking and they're moving. You're like, oh, I'm getting sick to my. You know, have you ever watched that movie Blair Witch Project? 
if I feel like that, like the screen's always moving and you're getting an upset stomach and it's like, oh, that's not good. But, uh, well, Amarello did good. I should rephrase that. Amarello did really good. It was San Angelo that was just terrible. How old am I getting where I have to put my glasses on just to see from up here? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Davi! Davi! I thought there was four of you. Oh no, it's no big deal. I just thought that you're, uh, I thought one of uh, Katie's friends was with you. Oh shit. So you just got the two girls? I'm over here, do you see me? Look up, look up into the, your left, to your left. See me here waving my arm up in the top, top corner? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Kristen is in section 215, so it's two sections to your left. And I'll call you if there's not anybody sitting with them. And just move down next to her. But those are pretty good seats, damn.
They gave me some good seats for free. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're killer. <laughs> I thought you guys would be higher. So, and, I, and then I seen, I was like, is that Kim? So, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought I seen your hair. I was like, that looks like Kim for sure. So, all right. Oh, you guys lost? Damn. What is it with Las Lunas this year? They're starting to piss me off. <laughs> Las Lunas beat us last week, huh? Wow. All right, I'll holler at you in a bit. Okay. Bye.
Hey, you off work yet? All right, if you can get here as fast as you can, dude, I can get you in. Um, you have to come to the top, though, on the side door. You know what I'm talking about, right? I. Yeah. Yeah, on the top, top side, yeah. And then you walk in, and immediately there's Abe's office and the Santa Ana Star office where all the head guys sit. Not at the bottom where the front box office is up top. If you'll hurry up and call me when you get here, I'll come open the door. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, let me see if Kristen can leave a ticket for you up front. Sorry, man. Make sure to just I'll, I'll tell her to leave. Do you, do you have your Do you have your ID? No. Do you have one? Uh, this is the active ones. I don't know. I'll take this regardless. Okay. So this is good. Um, do you? Uh, do, but it has your name on it, right? Okay. I'll tell her to leave one for you. What does it say on your on your ID? Jake Palmer. What is it? Jacob. All right, I'll tell her to leave it up front for you. No, I'm doing the radio. You can sit next to my wife. You remember her, or you can go sit wherever you want to sit. As soon as you just get in, just find a seat, you know. Um, She's right by the field, bro, like down to the bottom part of the field. So, yeah, I'll tell her to leave her. I'll tell her to leave a ticket for you up front. Yep, just go to the box office say, I'm here to pick up a ticket for Jacob Palmer. All right, later, man. Hold on, do that again. Let me record it. She didn't hear me. I was going to YouTube her dancing. <laughs> hey, babe, have you left yet? Have you left yet? Oh, you're kidding me. Where are you two? Are you coming to the game or what? Alright, well I need you to leave a ticket up front for Jacob Palmer. Alright? Don't forget. Love you. Bye. Hey, do you guys know how Zeke says his last name correctly? No. It's like Arevalo? 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 Arevalo, huh? Arevalo. Yeah, I think so. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> I think it should be a rule. League rule. You can't sign anybody who can't pronounce their name right off the bat. <laughs>
Roster ready? You got I both rosters?
Testing. You there? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Over there, hello. Hello, hello.
Dang, it might look like the final four is going to kill our attendance tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's game between the Laredo Rattlesnakes and the New Mexico Stars. Oh, yeah. Stars. And you know what? Last last year, the, the opening night was the same way again. Something was going on. I don't remember. Oh, it was skate, skate track and stuff.
I tried to sound cool by the click this and yes that, but it didn't work. It didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> system right there all in one night <laughs> would have been like the superdome yeah i would have been horrible <laughs> Bro, what happened to that loud blast in the speakers? They're going to announce the team and the team ain't even out there yet. <laughs> Where are they at?
Hey, you got me over there? Yes, one, two, three, four. I don't know, just ask for it. They'll both get it for you. Alright, man. 
as long as you're at the one at the bottom, not at the top rest. As long as you're at the one at the front, front, front entrance. Yeah, they'll go get it for you, no problem. Alright, let him go. Don't ask me any hard questions. Get it? Alright, Star Fans. Are we live? I need some thumbs up. You guys can hear me over there. That's Marcus Allen. Number 19, that's Zeke. Rivalo. Number four, Landrick Brody. Number 79 is going to be Chris Brown. Offensive and defensive lineman 6'1", 350 from Northwestern State. Number eight, that's Roland Bruno, the wide receiver defensive back. He's 5'10", 185 pounds from New Mexico. We got number one, Brendan Crawford, the new quarterback just recently signed this week, 6'5", 210 pounds from Texas. Number 67, that's a dual... Dion, the offensive and defensive lineman, 6'3", 325 from Missouri Southern. Number 11, that's Josh Floyd, the wide receiver, 5'10", 185 pounds. Played for the Stars last year. Number 14, Trey Hardaway, another returning player for the Stars. He's a fullback and linebacker, 5'11", 225 pounds from New Mexico. Number two, that's Demarcus James, the defensive back, 6'1", 200 pounds from U.S. Air Force. And he does a nice backflip. He's got some skills. Number nine, that's Esteban Lucero, the offensive and defensive lineman, 6'1", 300 pounds from Fort Lewis, located in Durango, Colorado. Number 10, Dexter Manley, wide receiver, linebacker. He's 6'3", 210 from Elizabeth City State. Number 55, Brock Mueller. He's an offensive and defensive lineman as well. 6'2", 290. He's from Wingate. Number 6, and the starting middle linebacker for the Stars, that's Cedric Odie. He plays all over the place. He's 6'2", 250. He's a local player. Number 5, that's Seth Smith. He's a linebacker, 5'8", 210 for New Mexico State. Chaz Thompson, that's number 3. On his jersey, he's a wide receiver as well as a defensive back. 6'1", 195 pounds from Louisville. Number 33, that's Kwame Yubo, outside linebacker and defensive lineman. 6'2", 255 from New Mexico Highlands. Number 42, that's Ferdinand Yuka. Fullback and linebacker, 6'3", 230 pounds. He is another local player. And your head coach for the New Mexico Stars, that's Chris Williams, the second-year coach for this Stars football team. He has a championship under his belt. He's going to see if he can lead the New Mexico Stars to their first championship this season. Our game is brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill located in Farmington, New Mexico. Not just a grill. They do everything. Car shows, concerts, you name it. You can find it at Zebra Sports Bar and Grill in Farmington. 
we're going to be getting close to this game. She's at the start of the game. to do the national anthem so I will be back shortly and now ladies and gentlemen please rise and welcome to the John Chalmers Field the women's veterans of New Mexico for the presentation of the colors And I can't think of a better way to start this game than with that amazing national anthem that we just witnessed and got to hear. Your game day sponsor is brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill located in Farmington, New Mexico. 
They're not just a grill. We're going to have the coin toss out in the middle of the field. Your captains for the Stars. That's going to be number 11, Josh Floyd. Number 5, that is Seth Smith. Number 10, that's Dexter Manley. And number 6, Cedric Odie. For the Rattlers, you're going to have number 5. That's Brian Randall, number 71. Ron Jackson, number 3. Michael Bragg. And number 9. Jerome McGee. Both of these teams come into today's game one and one on the season. New Mexico Stars open up with a huge win over the San Angelo Bandits on the road. They won that game 60 to 42. And they followed that game up with a loss to the number one team in the league. That's Amarillo Venom. They lost that game 62 to 34. Amarillo has won the last two championships in this Lone Star Football League. So they had quite the test to go through. The Laredo Rattlesnakes lost their first game to the Abilene Bombers, 62 to 61. What a nail biter that was for them. They turned back around the following weekend and beat the San Angelo Bandits, 65 to 41. So the Stars and the Rattlesnakes have pretty close encounters as far as their score differential with the San Angelo Bandits which brings us to present day today as we have them both one and one on the season the Mexico Stars come in with their black helmets with the red and yellow accent Santa Ana Star Casino feather on their helmet the black Under Armour jerseys with white numbers and white pants your Laredo Rattlesnakes come in with the gray helmets the gray jerseys Kelly Green with red accent numbers and Kelly Green pants. And doing the kickoff duties as he did last year is number 19, Zeke Aravillo. Excuse me, Aravalo. And just a little info on Zeke Aravalo. He leads the Texas League arena league in every statistical category there is for a kicker here's the kickoff in the end zone it's deep it's going to be brought out by number nine he cuts across the 15 back in the middle and he's going to be smashed he's going nowhere as number 42 is right there to meet him that's yuka and number nine marcus allen so he gets across to the 15 yard line That'll bring up first down and 10 for this Rattlers football team. The New Mexico Stars defense is the fourth in the league in scoring defense and fifth in rush defense. So they have some things to work on during practice. Here's a snap, two-step drop, looking around. Nobody's open. He's got all day. He throws it down the sideline. That was in and out of the hands. The pass was intended for number six. That's Jenkin. He had it, and then he drops it. He was able to get behind number nine, Marcus Allen. Incomplete pass. That brings up second down and ten for the Rattlesnakes. As they break their huddle. Ryan Randall, the quarterback, gets a snap. Five-step drop, looking deep. He fires across field, incomplete. Tight coverage by number two of the Stars. That's Demarcus James, as that pass was intended for number nine. That's Jerome McGee. So third down and ten for the Rattlesnakes. Opening night home game for the New Mexico Stars. So they have a nice crowd to show up. 
as they're battling against the final four today. Randall Hunter center, number one. That's Clark goes in motion. And we're going to have a timeout with 13.06 left in the first quarter. Your score is still 0-0. Zero zero. This game is brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill located in Farmington, New Mexico. Zebra Sports Bar and Grill takes care of all your needs. And not only your food needs, they also provide a ton of entertainment. Comedy shows, UFC fights car shows you ever find yourself up in Farmington stop by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill a proud sponsor of the New Mexico Stars so I'd like to thank Dr. Herman orthodontist for their support of the New Mexico Stars Batteries Plus go online to all three of our sponsors So third down and ten. Here's under center for Randall. A two-step drop. He's got some pressure. He steps up in the pocket, throws it deep. There should be a penalty, and there is. It almost looked like their feet got tripped up. But there was two guys on the coverage for the Stars, and both of them go down. So unfortunately, that never looks good for the defensive side. That was number three on the coverage, Chaz Thompson. And the safety number nine, Marcus Allen. No question about it, that's going to be a pass interference against the Stars. So the Rattlesnakes come away with a cheap one. They're going to get first down and ten. As the Stars have done a fantastic job up to this point in stopping this offense. The Rattlers offense comes down comes into this game the sleep is second and third down conversions that's great in the arena football league there's a quick pass completed to number six he finds some room to run he's going to be brought down he's going to be about a yard short of the first down as that pass was completed completed to Jenkins all he does is a quick one step drop on the line of scrimmage and he barrels forward for almost a first down brings up second down and one This rattlesnake offense, as I was saying, is second in the league in third down conversions. And in the Arena Football League, that is huge. Under center is Randall. There's his motion man. Passed out tip, but it's caught. Nice concentration. He's going to be hit hard, but not till he gets the first down. And then penalties come flying in. That pass was completed to number nine, McGee. Let's see if they call helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact against number two. That's Demarcus James. And that's going to go against the Rattlers. It's a personal foul. That's against number 75, the offensive lineman, Brandon Evans. So that was going to bring up a first down. Had to be a dead ball foul. The Rattlers run to line of scrimmage. Randall calling on his motion man. That's number nine. Throw the end zone. There is a complete mix-up with Randall and his intended receiver, McGee. McGee goes left. Randall throws right. Incomplete pass brings up second down and ten. They're going to have a conversation with each other, get things straightened out. And we are just about in the red zone. That's what that yellow line means considering the red zone for arena football. The New Mexico Stars defense is second in red zone defense next to Amarello so they're tough in the red zone there's a completed pass it's going to be close to a first down let's see where they mark Jerome McGee down for the Rattlers and it looks like it will be a first down as Randall throws a quick out pattern to McGee and McGee able to 
squeeze through that defense to get a first down. So now we got first down and goal from the four yard line. Let's see if that second rated red, do red zone defense for the Stars can hold the Rattlers. Under center is Randall, number one. That's Clark goes in motion. There's a snap. Looking, nobody's open. He's going to run right into the end zone. Nobody there. He takes a big shot at the end by number six, Cedric Odie. Nonetheless, that's going to be a touchdown for the Rattlers. They get on the board first with 9.50 left in the first <laughs> quarter. It is six to zero, Rattlers. And that's a tough play to defend. You got everybody going left. You leave that right side wide open. Number 14 on to attempt the extra point. That's Blake Erickson. There's a snap, the hole, the kick looks wide left and it is no good. As Blake Erickson, the 5'11", 180 pound kicker from South Carolina State is no good, six to zero. And in a league where you score very fast, those extra points are vital that you convert when you get the opportunity. Mexico Stars are going to bring their offense out onto the field here shortly. And I tell you this, New Mexico Stars have some accolades to put on their jersey. You are looking at the number one ranked rushing offense, the number one ranked total offense, the number one ranked fourth down conversion offense, and the number one ranked red zone offense in this Texas Lone Star Football League that is a lot to say for this football team unfortunately their leader KJ Black he led in every statistical category for a quarterback in the Lone Star League injured his knee last game against the Venom he tore his knee apart all of his ACL had surgery he is done for the year which brings us to present day number one Brendan Crawford the Stars made the transaction for Crawford's services for considerations later on down the road and here's a high kick gives his team Enough time to get down. It's going to hit the top roof, and that's going to kill the ball immediately. So number one, Brendan Crawford is going to have his first shot on offense in his first game this season for the Stars. The unique thing he's going to have on his side is Seth Smith. Seth Smith is number five. He is second in rushing for the entire league. He's going to have him on his side. Crawford under center. Bruno is going to be offsides by a mile. They're going to blow that play dead before it even gets started. I apologize. Let me check that. That is Roland Bruno that was called offsides. Number eight. Timing issue for the Stars. You get your wide receiver running about 100 miles an hour. It's a tough thing to see when he crosses the line of scrimmage. Make sure you're snapping that ball at the same time. And I'm going to have to check myself again. I apologize. They called that penalty against the Rattlesnakes. The White Hat pointed towards the Stars. So they're going to chalk off five yards. First down and five for the Stars. Crawford under center. Bruno throws across his body Crawford does intended for number 11 Josh Floyd incomplete 
as he had a ton of pressure on him. Probably guarantee you that's going to be a late hit on the quarterback against the Rattlesnakes. Number 50. And that is personal foul roughing the passer at Rattlesnakes. That goes against number 50. That's Thomas, the 6'1", 265 linebacker from Bowling Green. Gets in there late. Puts a hit on the quarterback. That's not always bad for a defense. You want to let him know that you're here. So that is a Zebra's sports ball and grill first down for the Stars. That brings them in the red zone. First down and 10. Crawford under center. Number 11 Floyd goes into motion. There's a throw. Picked off. And it is from his knees. And that had to have been a cross up because there was nobody in the area. Number two for the Rattlesnakes picks it off. That's Raymond Little. The six foot, 190 pound defensive back from Sacramento City College picks that ball off. He didn't have a whole lot to work with though as that ball was thrown directly into the center of his hands. And that pass was intended for number 11, Josh Floyd. Floyd went across the middle of the field. Crawford threw it right around the three yard line where I, I'm assuming he thought he was going to stop. Instead, he kept going, intercepted. Nice concentration on the part of the defensive back. So, first down and 10. There's a snap. Nobody to throw to. He's got all the time in the world, though. He throws it deep, incomplete, intended for number nine, McGee. But Randall does a smart thing and throws it where nobody can catch it or intercept it. Live to play another down, so that brings up second down and ten for the Rattlesnakes. And he's got some big targets to throw to. Number one, Damian Clark. He's 6'3". And number 80, Darnell Williams. He is 6'5". So Randall gets a quick snap, throws it out. He throws it high. Incomplete, intended for number nine, McGee again. And I'd say probably out of the six passes that have been thrown by the Rattlesnakes, five of them have been intended for number nine, McGee. The shorter of the three receivers, he's 5'7", 175 pounds. He played for the University of California. Brian Randall gets his call from his coach. He's a 6'2", 220-pound quarterback from Virginia Tech. Number five under center. Number one's going in motion. He calls for Clark. There's Clark to the line. There's a snap. Randall drops back in the middle. He's open, though. That is caught. Completed pass. He was not touched. He doesn't do the smart thing. And that should be a fumble and a turnover. And it is. Nice play by number three. Heads up play for the Stars. That's Chaz Thompson, and he pays attention to that play as Clark had a great catch. He went down to the ground. This is professional football. It is not high school, so you have to be touched by an opposing player. He was not. He throws the ball down. That is considered a fumble, and it is recovered by the Stars. Let's see if this offense can get something going. That was a Zebra Sports Bar and Grill turnover. So number one under center for the Stars. That's Crawford. Two-step drop. He steps up. Nobody's open. And he's going to gain about four yards on the play. So it should bring up a second down and six. As nobody was available to him. Gets his call from Coach Williams. Again, one and one on the season are the Stars, as well as this Laredo Rattlesnakes football team. Six to zero with 540 left in this first quarter. The Rattlesnakes lead this game. Number 11 is deep. That's Josh Floyd. Crawford calls for him to go 
in motion. There's a snap, and we're going to have a delay of game penalty on the Stars. So what would have been a second down and six is now going to move the Stars five yards back closer to their goal line. So that's now going to be second down and 12. This Laredo Rattlesnake defense, very stingy. They lead the league in total defense. They also lead the league in against rushing defense. There's a snap, drop back, pass is incomplete. He had an open receiver, did Crawford. Number eight, Roland Bruno, kind of just sat down right around the 15-yard line. Crawford threw it a little too early, didn't set his feet up. He throws that into the ground. That's going to bring up third down and 12 for the Stars. This Rattlesnake defense also fourth in passing. As the Stars are one of the, excuse me, the top team in passing up to this point. There's a snap, five-step drop, throws it right in the middle, completed to number 10 as he's brought down right at the 15-yard line. And what a completion that was to Dexter Manley. He's going to be tackled down by number three, excuse me, number two, Raymond Little, but not after. He picks up a huge chunk of yardage. That brings up first down and 10. Brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. Located in Farmington, New Mexico. For all our people up in Farmington. Enjoying this game. Crawford under center. Calls for motion. Coach Williams decides he wants a timeout. See something that he doesn't like. So the Stars are going to huddle up. They're going to have a first down and 10 from the 14-yard line. And as we said, this Stars team leads in red zone scoring offense as well as in total offense in the Lone Star Football League. The last time the Stars were in the red zone, they threw an interception. Crawford was looking for Josh Floyd. Miscommunication between the two, and it was picked off. Let's see if Coach Williams and Crawford can get this straightened out as the Rattlesnakes lead this game 6-0 to on the Stars' opening home game. A nice crowd out tonight. We are ready for play. The White Hat gets his official set up. Crawford is under center. Number five, his running back, Seth Smith, lined up to the right side of him. We have Manley and Bruno split out to the right. There's a snap, looking in the middle. That's a completed catch. That should be a touchdown, and it is. Touchdown, New Mexico Stars. That pass is completed to number 10, Manly Dexter. Pardon me, Dexter Manly. And nobody was around him. As soon as the Rattlesnakes realized he had just stopped there in the middle, it was too late. And that is a Dr. Herman orthodontics touchdown for the New Mexico Stars. Here's the extra point try. And that is good by Zeke Arivalo. And Zeke wanted to make sure that I said hello to his beautiful daughters. says hello to Jazz and Brika. As your dad splits the uprights right there, seven to six. Yeah. 
Zeke is going to kick off for the Stars, number 19. I think Dr. Herman Orthopedic for the sponsorship of our touchdowns for the New Mexico Stars. Batteries Plus. And Mobile Forklift. Of Farmington. And your game sponsor, this game today brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill, located in Farmington, New Mexico. Number nine is going to return to kick for the Rattlesnakes. That's Jerome McGee, who's been quite busy today. And number two, Raymond Little. Zeke is going to do the kickoff at the goal line for the Stars. It's high, it's deep. And that's going to be taken by number nine, McGee, as he crosses the five, the ten, right in the middle. There's a penalty on the field. He's going to be wrapped up by number two. He's got some speed. But Demarcus James is not going to let him go anywhere. That's the defensive back, 6'1", 200 pounds from U.S. Air Force. And that's going to be a hold already against the Rattlesnakes. That penalty was thrown right around the 11-yard line. Should be from the spot of the foul. And move them back from there. That's exactly what's going to happen. So it should be first down and 10 from the 6-yard line for the Rattlesnakes. 7 to 6 is your score. 311 left in this first quarter. As Randall comes to the line of scrimmage, number 1 Clark's going to go in motion. There's a snap, two-step drop looks in the middle. He's got some pressure. He floats one up. That is caught. And he's still on his feet. He may get to the end zone and he does touchdown. Laredo Rattlesnakes, number 80, gets up in the air. That's Darnell Williams, a 6'5", 230-pound wide receiver. We were talking about the height difference between the defensive backs for the Stars versus the height for these wide receivers for the Rattlesnakes, and that one came into play. Number three just does not wrap him up. That was Chas Thompson. Touchdown, Rattlesnakes. The extra point is good by number 14, Erickson. And we have a 13-7 game. That is one of the toughest plays to have your defensive corners play against where you have a taller wide receiver and it's thrown behind you. The coverage was not bad on the part of Thompson. Unfortunately, he just threw it behind him. The quarterback did for the Rattlesnakes and Randall. And Williams, the 6'5 wide receiver, just clearly went up. Catches the ball. And I think it kind of caught Thompson off guard. He was unable to wrap him up. So deep for the Stars to return this kick is going to be number 11, Jonathan. Pardon me. Looking at the wrong lineup. Number 11, Joshua Floyd, the 5'10", 185-pound receiver from Chowan. And number 5, the running back, Seth Smith, 5'8", 210 for New Mexico State. Number 14 going to kick off for the Rattlesnakes. That's Erickson. We have a dead ball before we get started. And they were one player short. Usually in this instance, the officials force the team to take a timeout. I don't believe that was the case. They just stopped the ball dead before it was kicked, allowed the Rattlesnakes to get their player back out onto the field. And they do so. So again, Erickson is going to kick off. He's from South Carolina State. 
Floyd deep. This is a deep kick. Floyd takes it about three yards in the end zone. Right up the middle. He had some room to run, and then the hole just closed in a hurry by number one for the Rattlesnakes. That's Damian Clark, but not after a 17-yard return from the star. So first down and 10 as Crawford makes his way back out onto the field. Again, this is his first game of the season. He gets his call from Coach Williams. 13 to seven is your score. Two minutes left in this first quarter. On the right side of the field is gonna be number 10. That's Manley. Number 11 goes into motion and we're gonna have a penalty before we get started. That was Josh Floyd going in motion. So we're going to have a false start against the Stars. Push them back five yards. So first down and 15 now. Let's see if they could get that worked out. There's a quick pass out completed. Right close back to the line of scrimmage. The original line of scrimmage. That was completed to Manley. So I think he's going to gain around seven yards on the play. They're going to give him six. So second down and nine for the Stars as Manley's had a busy day himself. So to the left, we've got Manley, Floyd, Bruno. Floyd in motion. There's a snap, two-step drop. Nice pass completion to number 10, Manley. He's able to gain a couple more yards after the reception. And that's going to be a Zebra Sports Bar and Grill first down for the New Mexico Stars. As that moves the chains. Smart play. And that play has been open the entire game for the Stars. See if they utilize that more often for Coach Williams. So first down and 10 from the 20-yard line. To the right side of the field. Split out is Manley, number 8 Bruno. To the left, single coverage is Floyd. Crawford under center. There's a snap. Looking for the middle. He's got pressure. He's going to be sacked. Big sack by number 50 for the Rattlesnakes. That's Thomas. And that is not how you want to end this first quarter. Your score 13 to 7 at the end of this first quarter. Ends on a sack, which was first down and 10. He loses 11, so now we've got second down and 21 for the Stars as they're going to switch sides. Again, being that it is the first game for Crawford, you expect some wet feet. No question about it. Coach Williams is going to get that under control. As we wait for some first quarter statistics. together as you have the galaxy dancers for the stars out there 
Again, today's game brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill, located in Farmington, New Mexico, with over 20 flat screen TVs. They're not just a place to sit down and get something to drink and something to eat. They also provide a ton of entertainment. Comedy shows, car shows, UFC fights. Ever find your way up in the beautiful San Juan County area? Stop by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. Touchdown sponsor brought to you by Dr. Herman Orthodontist. Needing to get those braces taken care of. What a place to go. Dr. Herman's Orthodontist. And Batteries Plus. Located all over the state of New Mexico. Crawford under center. Calls Bruno into motion. He's got Bruno open downfield, but he throws it to number 10. Touchdown! New Mexico Stars! And who else? That's Manley. His second touchdown of the day. What a pass that was by Crawford. I thought he was going to throw it to Floyd, who was streaking across the middle of the field. He was wide open. He opts to throw it to Manley, who got behind the quarterback, number two of the Rattlesnakes. That was Little, and Crawford puts it exactly where it needs to be for a touchdown. That touchdown brought to you by Dr. Herman Orthodontist. And that... PAT is good by Zeke. Rivalo. He is money yet again. And as I was saying earlier, Zeke leads this league in every statistical category possible for a kicker. We're talking scoring attempts, kick attempts made, and PATs made. Matter of fact, Zeke is the leading, the second leading scorer in this entire league for the Texas Lone Star League. Star's doing a great job. Kind of broke everything down as an organization. They started over from scratch, and that started with the general manager, Abe, who's done a fantastic job in getting this team back to where it needs to be. And the fruit is in the pudding. If you look around, you can see all of the fans in the stands. They've done a great job, Abe has, with Coach Williams in trying to get the best local players available in this area. So Zeke going to kick off from the end zone line for the Stars. Number nine deep. For the Rattlesnakes, that's McGee. It's going to be brought back by number two as he crosses the 15. He's past the 25 where he's going to be hit. They're trying to strip the ball, and that's what you want to do. You teach your players when you get the opposing players stood up, start stripping the ball, and that's exactly what number two for the Stars was doing. That's Demarcus James. James back from a leg injury during two a days excuse me training camp solid defensive back 6'1 200 pounds from US Air Force Randall under center there's the snap it's going to be a draw play to the huge fullback this guy is enormous he does not go down number nine comes in and puts a big hit on him that was Marcus Allen but I'll tell you what Number 44 has got some size. Get this. That is Harris. He's a fullback. 6'2", 310 pounds. And he looks every bit of it. He gets enough for the first down and more. As the Rattlesnakes get into the red zone. In motion goes the trusty wide receiver, number 9, McGee. That pass was intended for number one, incomplete. That was Clark. But I'll tell you, Clark was able to get the inside track on number eight.
That was Bruno as they put him on the other side of the ball. Thompson took a break. He, he comes back in. And we may have an offsides again. Let's see what they call it. Here's the call from the White Hat. And that's going to be against the Stars defense. Defensive encroachment. So that moves the Rattlesnakes back up five yards. Second down and five. 14 to 13. The Stars have a one-point lead in the second quarter. But the Rattlesnakes are on the verge of attempting to get this in the end zone. Randall under center. Number 80, Williams in motion. And that's going to be a clear touchdown. Number nine, McGee, finds his way into the end zone at the top part of the field, and there was nobody there. The corner on that side did not pick him up. And that was a clear-cut touchdown for McGee as he doesn't even get touched. As he walks into the end zone, and again, the Rattlesnakes take the lead. Erickson with the kick... PAT attempt, Clark holding, there's a snap to hold, the kick is up, and it is good. So the Rattlesnakes take the lead yet again, 20-14, to 14, with 12-10 left in the second quarter. So let's see if the Stars offense can match this Rattlesnake offense score for score and get the defense put together to hold this rattlesnake offense. So deep for the stars is number five. That's the running back, Smith. He's going to line up right around the five-yard line and in the end zone is number 11, Floyd. The wide receiver. He's about five yards deep into his end zone. Erickson with the kick for the Rattlesnakes. It's high and it's deep. Might be out of the field. It's not taken deep in his end zone. And he's got a clear opening. He may take this to the house, and he doesn't. What a heck of a run that was by Floyd. Thank goodness for the Rattlesnakes. Number one was there. That's Clark, because if he Clark doesn't catch him, Floyd takes that to the house. So that's going to bring up a first down and 10 for the Stars right around the 16-yard line. Thank our sponsors for today's game. Zebra Sports Bar and Grill brings you today's game as well as Dr. Herman Orthodontics, Batteries Plus, and Mobile Forklift. Floyd goes into motion. There's Crawford dropping back, throwing at his feet, incomplete. And actually everybody out on the field looked confused. I'm not sure they knew if they were in the right spot or not. But that brings up a second down and ten for the Stars. As Crawford and Coach Williams get the new play called in. Crawford into his huddle. Smith in the backfield with Crawford. Floyd split out to the right solo in motion. There's the snap. He's got some pressure. He steps up. He's looking for the end zone, and he should score. Big hit touchdown. What a play by number one, Crawford. And I'll tell you what, for a quarterback, he says, come get some of this. He lowers his shoulder pad down, and he blasts the cornerback for the Rattlesnakes. And the offensive lineman, number 67, 
has something to say. That's Dion. Or the Stars got something to say to the cornerback. As Crawford just mows over him. So Zeke out for the PAT. It's snapped. It's kicked. Bounced off the bar. And I believe it goes in and it does. So that touchdown and PAT brought to you by Dr. Herman Orthodontist. 21 to 20 is your score after that amazing play by the quarterback Crawford and how does that not get this crowd pumped up when your quarterback lowers the shoulder pad and just plows over the defensive player and that goes a long way with your players trust me with that your teammates are looking at you that you're willing to get stuff done at any cost and what better statement to make for Crawford in his first home game than to score a 22-yard touchdown. So what a game Crawford is having himself. So Crawford with one touchdown. And then you have number 10, that's Manley with two. And I do apologize, I, ha I didn't get any stats at the end of that second, or excuse me, at the end of the first quarter, but we'll try to get at least halftime stats. So 10-28 left in the second quarter, 21-20 is your score. Six lead changes in this game thus far. Zeke Arrivialo for the kickoff. Hard squib kick. Taken by number two. Cuts across the 15. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. What a heck of a play that was. By Raymond Little. Able to keep that play alive. Gets his team across the 20. Looks like they're going to mark him down at the 23. So first down and 10 from the 23-yard line. Again, today's game brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. You can go online and look up Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. See what they have to offer. They also have calendars and T-shirts available. Everybody back home at Farmington tuning into the game. There's motion. Quick pass caught. Completed to number 80. And that was brought down immediately by the cornerback. And what a play that was by number nine, Allen. He had a blocker on him. That pass is completed to number 80, Williams. Allen able to shed the tackler or the block off of him and make the tackle. Randall under center, big five yard drop. He had a receiver open, overthrows him as number three makes his way over. That was Thompson. Pass was intended for number nine, McGee. Again, the ball has gone his way for the majority part of the night. So I can guarantee you the Stars will get that straightened out at halftime. Clark, excuse me, Randall under center. He calls for Williams to go in motion. There's a snap. Looking to the right side. Airs it out. Almost caught. In and out of the hands of number nine, McGee. Unable to hold on to it. It would have been one heck of a tough catch to make. That would have made the highlight reels if he does. Incomplete. That brings up fourth down and ten for the Rattlesnakes. The Rattlesnakes come into this game dead last in fourth down conversions. Let's see if they're able to do something here. Clark in motion. Randall under center. There's a snap. He's got all day to throw the ball. Incomplete. 
thrown about five yards short, intended for number nine, McGee. And that is going to be a batteries plus turnover for the New Mexico Stars as the defense does its job and holds this rattlesnake offense to a fourth and out. So Coach Williams and his quarterback, Crawford, will get things talked over. going to have an extended timeout. In between. And if you've never been to an arena game, it's quite fun. They throw out all sorts of goodies. And at the end of the game, we're going to throw out a player of the game where you have to email the player of the game's name in and we will send you a gift brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill have the turnover by the Stars brings up first down and 10 from the 23 yard line offense talking some things over getting things up Center comes in. A little tardy getting on the field. Floyd, the solo receiver to the left side. He's going to be the motion receiver. Bruno and Manley lined up to the right side. There's a snap. Crawford drops back. He's got pressure. Can he get away? He does. That penalty thrown on the field in the area of a hold. Let's see what the call is. And it is holding against the New Mexico Stars. So that'll take them back 10 yards. And that was against number 67, Dion. So they'll pick up the flag. Pardon me, move them back. Crawford gets the play. So the penalty is marked off from the spot of the foul. My goodness. It is first down and forever. Almost first down and 30. Bruno in motion, throws it deep, he's open, diving attempt, no good, incomplete. And Bruno looked like his leg went out from underneath him. He looked like he was set up to just run right underneath the pass. That pass was right on the money, but Bruno went down early, and it was incomplete. Guarantee you Bruno would like to have that attempt back. As he falls to the ground and then smashes his head into the wall. Second down and 30 is what we're going to call it. For the Stars. Floyd solo receiver in motion again. Bruno and Manley to the right side. And again the snap is late. It looks like it's a false start and it's going to be. Crawford not able to get that snap in time with the uh, receiver in motion. So what was second down and 30 now becomes second down and 35. 
But again, fans of the Arena League know that that is not too far to go. So Crawford under center. He's got all of his receivers to the left side. That's Floyd, Manley, and Bruno. And we're going to have a timeout. The New Mexico Stars call a timeout. Coach Williams sees something that he does not like. Today's game brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. They're also our player of the game sponsor. Zebra Sports Bar and Grill located in Farmington, New Mexico. You find your way up north. Stop by, friendly atmosphere, and enjoy over 20 flat screen TVs with just about any sports game you can imagine to watch, including this game now. And the final four, Lance and Company at Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. The proud sponsor of today's football game. Manly number 10 lined up to the left. Floyd lined up in the slot receiver. Bruno going in motion. There's the snap. Fumbled. Picked up by the running back number five. Smith. And that was a smart play on his part because that could have turned ugly in a hurry. Did not help the Stars out, but maybe get three yards on the play. That sure beats the heck out of a turnover. So third down and long for the Stars. They've got to get something going. There is no punting in Arena League football. You either go for it or you attempt a field goal. So Manley and Bruno lined up to the left. We're going to have another timeout by the Stars. 5.23 left in the second quarter. 21-20 is your score. The Stars lead this game. And no question about it, that's a smart timeout. Third down and long, you've got to make something happen because you got some big decisions to make. You do not make this third down or you get it close to being a manageable third down. Now Coach Williams has to make the decision, do we kick the field goal attempt or do we go for it? I think if you gain the majority part of these yards back and you get within, field, within the original line of scrimmage, you'll see Coach Williams... Bring in Zeke to attempt the field goal. So I've just been made aware that we will not have any stats for the game, and I apologize, I hadn't been taking the stats myself. So I'll try to do my best at halftime to get that put together. Coach Williams gets everything worked out this quarterback. Floyd going to be the motion receiver. Bruno and Manley on the other side. Crawford, five-step drop. Steps up in the pocket, lets it fire away. He had a receiver open, but he took a big hit as he threw that ball intended for Bruno. And he gets blasted by number 74. That's a defensive tackle. Sweeney, 6'4", 340 pounds from Alcorn State. Crawford gets all of that. And the turf. So Coach Williams brings in his field goal unit. Zeke, without question, has the leg to split it from here. But this is another form of punting in arena football. If he does not make the field goal or it goes out of the field of play, it can be returned. And deep to return this kickback is number three. That's Bragg from Texas A&M, Kingsville. 6'1", 200 pounds. There's a kick. It's high. It's deep. It is going out of the field. So that's going to bring up a first down and 10 for the Rattlesnakes. 
4.50 left in the second quarter. The Stars lead this game 21 to 20. Had a great opportunity to get some more separation on that last possession with the football. Just wasn't able to get anything done. And they turn it over on downs. So Randall under center. Number one going in motion. That's Clark. He's deep. He's got an open receiver with Clark right back into the middle. There should be a face mask penalty. And the flags fly all over the place. So not only was that a first down catch and more, they're going to tack on another 15 as that should be a personal foul face mask. And it sure is. That's against the Stars. Number two, that's James coming in to make the tackle. And he just has too much of the face mask of the opposing player. So that brings up a first down and 10 from the 10 yard line. In the red zone are the Rattlesnakes. Number 80, look at him. One on one coverage, let's see if they throw it to him. Oh, and they're gonna throw it to the big offensive lineman, touchdown! As they have an offensive lineman eligible. And that's what happened after a big lineman scores, you're gonna get a lineman celebration by number 75 left all alone and my apologies I'm trying to find his number on the roster and I don't see him anywhere yeah I apologize they do not have him written down so I have no idea who that was but there is the PAT attempt, and that is good. The score goes, the Rattlesnakes 27, the Mexico Stars 21, 350 left in the second quarter. And what a tricky play that was. So the Stars going to bring their offense out, try to get something started, try to get something going. So the special team coach talking over strategy with his team. Number 11 for the Stars, that's Floyd Deep to return this kick. Number 5, Smith, the running back, is going to line up right around the 5-yard line. Maybe drop back down to the 4. Kicking off for the Rattlesnakes is Erickson, who's been busy himself tonight. Erickson from South Carolina State. There's a kick. It's high. It's short. And this is going out of the field of play. It's going to be called dead there. And guess what? When that ball goes into the stands, you get to keep it. And there is one happy fan down there now. So that's going to bring out the first down and 10 marker for the Stars. As they mark that ball at the midfield point, that's on the 25-yard line. What great field position this is for the Stars. They need to get something done right now. The clock is winding. 340 left in the second quarter. Crawford under center. He's going to have Manley and Bruno split to the right. Manley's going to be the motion wide receiver. Floyd solo to the left. Three-step drop. He's got pressure. He gets hit. Almost intercepted. Again, Crawford gets smashed by number 11. That's Hatton, the 6'1", 250 defensive lineman from West Texas A&M. And Crawford has found himself on the turf quite often tonight. They need to get that cleaned up at halftime. Or Crawford's going to have one heck of a long night. So that's going to be an incomplete pass. Almost intercepted. That brings up second down and 10. 
for the Stars. Floyd split out to the left. Bruno and Manley to the right. Manley's the motion wide receiver. There's the snap. Looking to the left. Crawford steps up. He fires it to Bruno. That's complete. Still on his feet. And he's going to have enough for the first down and more. With 2.40 left in the second quarter. That puts the Stars in the red zone. And I was I said earlier, this team is the number one red zone offense in the league. They've got to make this happen right now. So first down and goal from about the seven yard line with the Zebra Sports Bar Grill first down. That's going to be a touchdown and it's going to come back as that was a holding penalty. Maybe. It'll either be a holding or a chop block penalty. Let's see which one they call it. Let's see if the touchdown holds. That was a Smith touchdown run. Seth Smith. As the White Hat talks this over, we have an injured player, and the touchdown is good. And it was a, a block below the waist against the defense. And that touchdown stands 27 to 27 as Crawford hands it off to Seth Smith to the right side of the field. He's able to barrel it into the end zone. A 5'8", 210 pound running back for New Mexico State. And the injured player on the field is number three. That's Michael Bragg. He's able to get up. He's walking around. And he will have to come out for a play. He's number 19, Zeke. Comes out for the PAT attempt. He's ready. There's a snap, the hold, the kick. It's up and it is good. 28 to 27 is your score. As the New Mexico Stars take another lead. Those two scores brought to you by Dr. Herman Orthodontics. With all of these lead changes, what a game this is. 28 to 27. I'd like to thank Batteries Plus as well as Mobile Forklift for their sponsorship and support of the New Mexico Stars. And your game day sponsor, Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. Zeke coming out to kick off for the Stars. Number nine, deep for the Rattlesnakes. That's McGee. And number two, that's Raymond Little. So McGee deep in his end zone as well as number two Little. There's the kick. Looks like it's going to McGee, and it is. And he's hit immediately. What a great play that was by the cornerback, number nine, Allen. And they needed a big play by the special teams as the Rattlers have able to help themselves out this game and giving themselves great field position on special teams and you talk to any coach out there they will tell you they need to win the battle on special teams and up to this point the rattlesnakes have done just that but allen with a great special teams play there puts the rattlesnakes deep in their own territory on the five yard line Number 80 is going in motion. That's Williams. Randall throws it to Williams. Completed. He's going to have his legs chopped out from underneath him by number two. That's James. But he's going to have enough for the first down and more. As he gains almost 20 yards on the play. No 
one minute left in this second quarter. We're going to have the one minute warning. In football and college, you have the two minute warning. In arena, we have the one minute warning. As the Galaxy cheerleaders are going to throw the three t shirts around. and 10. The Rattlesnakes are going to come out of this timeout. That is plenty of time to try to get something accomplished before the half is over. At the end of the half, we'll have a short break. And then I'll be back with some statistics. But the defense for the Stars need to stop this Rattlesnake offense and they need to stop them right now. Randall calls for McGee in motion. There's the snap. Quick pass. Caught. Completed to number one. That was Clark and he is hit hard up against the boards. But not after he picks up the first down and more. Gain of 13. We have a penalty on the play. Chop block against the Rattlesnakes. That is a big penalty. That pushes them back 15 yards. Still remains first down. But instead, you were looking at first down and 10 from the 13-yard line in the red zone. Now that comes out to first down and 25. Thanks, DJ. So Randall breaks huddle. He's going to have Williams and McGee lined up to the left. McGee's going to be the motion man. Number one, Clark to the left side. He throws it to Clark. Completed. He's oh, nobody around him. And he does a smart thing and puts the ball over the out-of-bounds wall. That stops the clock immediately. So he gains almost every yard back plus more that was lost on that chop block. Second down and two now for the Rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes break huddle. Randall's going to have all three receivers to the right side of the field. Williams, McGee, Clark. Clark going in motion to the left side now. Randall snaps it. Five-step drop. There's a penalty. Fires the ball. Caught. Complete to Clark right around the two yard line but let's see what the flag is for and it looks like it may be defensive offsides on the stars that would be and it is that penalty will be negated and the result of the play is a first down and more again for this rattlesnake offense so first down and one Pardon me, not first down. It is first down and goal on the one. Quick play, here's what you're going to see. And I think they may have too many players on the field. No, it's not too many players. So somebody might, maybe in a legal formation... And that's exactly what it was. That was an illegal formation on the Rattlers. So that takes gives the Stars' defense a little bit of breathing room now. Still first down and goal. But now it's first down and goal from the six-yard line. Two receivers to the left, one to the backside. Clark's going to be the motion receiver. He's going to motion to the side with McGee and Williams. Randall gets a snap. Two-step drop. Quick pass. 
It's fought and it's caught. Touchdown. Number one, Clark. And that was a battle for the ball. As the cornerback for the Stars, number six. Pardon me, number nine, Allen. You have to forgive me again. <laughs> That's Bruno. I didn't realize they put Bruno back out on the defensive side of the ball. So Bruno and Clark fighting for the ball. Clark wins that battle. And the Rattlesnakes take yet another lead, 34 to 28, in this game in the second quarter with 18 seconds left. And what a back and forth battle this has been. Thank Zebra Sports Bar and Grill for their sponsor of today's football game, as well as our player of the game sponsor. Dr. Herman's Orthodontist, Batteries Plus, and Mobile Forklift are proud sponsors of New Mexico Stars football. So deep for the Stars is going to be number 11. That's Floyd and number 5, Smith. Smith with the touchdown. Kick is deep. It's going to be kept in field, taken by Floyd. He's across the 5 to 10 to 15, trying to find some room anywhere. He's still able to stay on his feet. He's going to be tackled around the 23-yard line. Great striking field position for the Stars with six seconds left. Let's see if Coach Williams opts for one quick play down the field. If they don't make it, let's see if he brings out the trusty Zeke Arivalo. Arivalo, pardon me, I struggle with that name every season. So to the left side is number 10, Manley. Number 8, Bruno. Number 11, Floyd's to the right side. There's a snap, quick throw. That's exactly what they're going to do. Incomplete. That's going to be a souvenir for somebody. And that's exactly what Coach Williams does. He goes to his trusty kicker. Number 19, Zeke. Aravalo. This is going to be about a 37-yard field goal attempt. Number 11, Floyd holding the ball. Zeke ready. He gives a nod. There's a snap. The hold. The kick is up. It's deep enough. Right down the pipes. That is good for Zeke. And what a kick that was. 31-34. to 34. The Stars get on the board as they go in at halftime. What a great kick that was. And Zeke's daughters can be very proud of him as he splits that 37-yard field goal attempt. Jazz and Brika can smile wide now. We're going to take a quick five-minute break. I'll be back with some stats shortly. I'm Albert Velarde bringing you New Mexico Stars football brought to you by your game sponsor. That's Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. Not just a bar and grill, they also bring you entertainment. Over 20 flat screen TVs, comedy shows, car shows, you name it, you're going to find it at Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. Our touchdown sponsors are brought to you by Dr. Herman Orthodontist. Dr. Herman Orthodontist will work with you with your braces for your young ones. They do not believe in pulling teeth. Give Dr. Herman Orthodontist a call. Batteries Plus, as well as Mobile Forklift, our proud sponsors of New Mexico Star Football. And we'll be back shortly after a five-minute break. Yo, bro, how you going to be hanging? 
one of the snaps, but shit, everything will be some mess if shit crashes. Okay, I'll come back and get those off from you in a minute, because I'll fix it okay. And we are back with our halftime stats. In the first quarter, the Rattlesnakes making some noise as they strike first. They had a first touchdown pass scramble by their quarterback, number five. That's Randall as he gets into the end zone to get the Rattlesnakes on the board first. The Stars come right back at him with their first touchdown pass. That was completed from Crawford to Manley for his first of two touchdowns on the day. Randall comes right back for the Rattlesnakes as he throws a touchdown strike to number 80. That was Williams to get the Rattlesnakes back on the board. The Stars then come right back again as they throw another touchdown pass from Crawford to Manley to knot it up ahead in the game by one. Number five, Randall says, hold your boat. He gets up and he throws a striking touchdown to number one, Clark, who's able to stay on his feet after he takes a big hit to take the lead. Then the Stars come right back as they have a handoff touchdown by number five, Smith, to get in the end zone. They take another one-point lead. Then Randall himself comes back out. He's able to get into the end zone for the Rattlesnakes. Number one, Crawford, in his first arena game, then lowers his shoulder on a 22-yard touchdown run. Runs over the defensive cornerback, and he gets into the end zone. Then Randall strikes back, and your last score of this game was a field goal, a 37-yard kick made good by number 19, Zeke. And that's where we are now, 34-31 to at halftime. Both of these teams are 1-1. One and, one. and again, coming off of last year, the Stars only won two games. What happens? They start from the ground up again this season. They bring in a new general manager, Abe. Last name Hernandez. The unique thing about the new general manager, a lot of the times you'll see a lot of managers who just have that business sense as far as a team goes. Abe not only just brings that business sense, he also brings in the player part of the this business as well as owning a team himself so the stars bring him in in a market that desperately needed somebody to shake things up Abe has done just that in getting together with coach Williams and coach Williams Abe have done a tremendous job on putting tryouts local tryouts for local players to find the best local athletes they possibly can and they have found a number of those you flip the side to that and you bring in, uh, Hernandez brings in, you know, his uh, front office staff with the com uh, community relations people, the internet people, you know, everything that you need to make a team successful, they have got that done. Flip the coin, thus comes in Coach Williams, his second year in the league. For the Lone Star Football League, he has a championship under his belt. It was a tough season last year. The Stars, were their backs were against the wall since word go. Just a little history. The league last year that the Stars played in was the IFL. The IFL approved the New Mexico Stars to be in that league two weeks before the season started. That gave the Stars enough time to have one week to hold training camp, another another week to get all their players in, 
and start their first game. By that point in time, all the other teams in the IFL or, you know, any arena team, for that matter, across the country, had already had first dibs on these players across the country. And it was a tough season. When you win two games and you're a championship coach and some of these players, you know, playing at a high level in college and whatnot, it's a tough thing to swallow. But they kept their head held high. They come in this season. Hernandez and Coach Williams stand side by side. They get stuff done the way things need to get done. Thus, they are 1-1 one one starting this season, looking to try to go 2-1 and one against this Rattlesnakes football team. But I'll tell you, this Rattlesnake team is giving the New Mexico Stars every bit they can handle. The Stars lead a ton of statistical categories within the top three. Matter of fact, the Stars are not outside the top three in any category on either side of the football for the exception of stopping the run defense or excuse me they're running defense so it will be interesting to see what the strategy is going to be for the New Mexico Stars when they come back out from halftime and again, this game is brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. They are our game day sponsor as well as our player of the game. Our touchdown sponsor is Dr. Herman Orthodontist. And our turnover sponsors are Batteries Plus and Mobile Forklift. The Stars make their way back out onto the field in their black uniforms with white number trim with white pants, black helmets. The Rattlesnakes have yet to come out. They're in Kelly Green pants, gray jerseys, and silver helmets. Both teams are 1-1. One and one. The Stars won their first game against the San Angelo Bandits, 60-42. They follow that game up the following weekend with a loss to the Amarillo Venom, 62-34. to Amarillo is the two-time defending champion in the Texas Lone Star League. Tough, tough team. To play against. The Laredo Rattlesnakes start their season off with a loss to the Abilene Bombers, 62-61. to what a nail biter that was. They flipped the script the following week with a big win over San Angelo Bandit 65 to 41. As well as the Rattlesnakes inking a deal with their head coach for another season. That's got to speak to a lot of his character and the things that he's done with this Rattlesnake football team. Again, giving the Stars everything they can handle as both teams make their way out onto the field. Again, you can email today's player of the game. I'll give you that email address at the end of the day. Our next home game is going to be at the end of this month in April. They're going to be, uh, the Stars will be on the road. They'll have a week off. And then at the end of April, they will be back home on the 27th. We will also have a new text line that you can text your comments no matter where you're at on the football game as well as text the player of the game in. We will send your gifts out. You can stay in constant contact with me here with the Stars. Any comments you'd like to make will be on the, available to you on that text line. We'll have that again April 27th, the next home game. And we're going to have the start of this second half. The Mexico Stars trail this game 31-34. to
so here we go. This second half brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. They don't just provide food and drinks. They also provide entertainment with over 20 flat screen TVs. Providing you any sports going on that day at that moment. As well as this football game. All my people out at Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. Hopefully you're enjoying this game. There's a kick brought by Seth Smith around the 10. He's going to be brought down around the 22-yard line. A whole lot of work for about a 7-yard gain. You like to see a big guy like that with the speed Smith has. Just take that football and run straight up the field. And that's where Coach Williams and his quarterback Crawford are going to start this second half at first down and 10 as the chains are trying to get untangled and that ball is going to be marked right at the 22 yard line you're going to have Bruno is going to be the wide receiver in motion Manley and Floyd lined up to the right side of the field as well and the chain crew having some issues. But the team's getting knotted up. They got it squared away finally. So here we go. Crawford under center. His running back Smith lined up behind him. Bruno in motion. There's a snap. Handoff sweep to Smith who goes straight up the field. There's a penalty as well he's still on his feet and he brings that ball down around the eight maybe the seven yard line let's see where they put it but that was on the headlines and surely that's coming back and the stars know it as well as they are coming all the way back across the field it could have been a holding maybe a chop block the head linesman doesn't seem like he's sure what the proper call is. So the White Hat's helping him out on that. Just get everything ironed out. And here we go. Here's the call. And it is no call. That flag is going to be picked up. First down and goal for the Stars as the White Hat gets a clarification with the headlines you love to see officials make sure that they get the right call whether that would have went against the stars or the rattlesnakes you just want to make sure you get the right call that was the right thing to do to pick up the flag and as John Gruden always says a penalty should call itself I didn't see much there they pick it up Bruno in motion there's a snap with Crawford looking at Bruno this should be a touchdown and it is touchdown to Mexico Stars that was Floyd and what a great play call that was by coach Williams Floyd went right in the middle of the field he settles in for a quick second lets everybody clear out of the way and then finds himself over to the left side of the field what a touchdown that was brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill and Dr. Herman's orthodontist so my man Zeke out to attempt the field goal Floyd holding there's the snap the kick and that is good right through the uprights and the stars come out exactly how the stars would like to getting on the board immediately they take the lead 38 to 34 in this third quarter they're going to kick off to the rattlesnakes up to this point the stars have only stopped the rattlesnakes offense once they've got to do a better job with this let's see exactly who's going to be deep for the rattlesnakes
They're going to change it up. As the Rattlesnakes look like they're going to throw three receivers deep. Let's see if it stays that way. You've got number nine. That's McGee, number two. That's Little. Clark was back there, but he runs back to the 20-yard line. So McGee and Clark is deep. With their usual lineup. Number 19, Zeke kicking off for the Stars, a two-year returner. There's a kick high, deep. Clark McGee's going to take it right at the end zone line. Cuts back across the 15. He's going to be hit and brought down around the 20 by number four. That's Landrick Brody. He's a linebacker, six foot 260 from UNM. So first down and 10, the ball's marked at the 21 yard line for the Rattlesnakes. Randall and company break huddle. Clark, number one, lined up to the right side of the field. Number nine, McGee, and number 80, Williams, to the left. McGee is going to be the motion wide receiver. And big number 44, that's Harris, the fullback, 310 pounds, lined up behind Randall. There's McGee in motion to the opposite side of the field. There's a snap. Too quick, two-step drop. That's completed. Nice play. Number nine, McGee, catches that ball. He has enough for the first down and more, 14 yards on the gain. And that ball was thrown awfully low. You'd like to see your defensive line and your linebackers just stick their hands up. A lot of times when that ball's thrown that low, it's going to be blocked away, and who knows what's going to happen once that takes place. Randall breaks, huddle, two receivers to the right side, one to the left. Clark, man-to-man -man coverage. McGee is in motion. He's on the right side with Williams. There's a throw, catch is completed to McGee. And yet another missed tackle by number, excuse me, by the defense. That was number two, James. Had a shot on him, not able to wrap him up. And McGee able to shed that tackle off and gain another four yards after the catch. McGee may be small, but he is shifty and he is tough to bring down. At 5'7", 170 pounds. Williams and McGee lined up to the left. Clark solo coverage to the right. He's the motion wide receiver. Hand off to the big fullback and he goes nowhere. Number 42 for the defense for the Stars trips him up to begin with. That's Yuka. And then number four comes in and cleans him up. That's Landrick Brody. And goodness, what a load number 44 is. Six to 310 pounds. Imagine hitting that guy at full speed. Randall calls for number one Clark in motion. He's on trip side to the left. There's a snap, quick pass. It's caught, touchdown. And he was wide open. There had to be some kind of communication misunderstanding on the defensive part of the Stars because nobody was in his area. And that ball was threaded in there to Clark. Touchdown, rattlesnakes. So number 14, Erickson, comes on to attempt the extra point try. He's ready. He gives a nod. There's a snap, the hold, and the kick is up. The kick is good. Your score, 41-38. to 38. The Rattlesnakes lead this game. And thus how arena football goes. These scores get quite up there. So the special teams coach having a conversation with his players. Gets them straightened out as they are going to receive this kick. Number 
Number 11, Floyd, deep to return this kick back. Number five, the running back, Smith. They line up around the five yard line. 41 to 38 is your score. Third quarter with 10 minutes left. And there's the kick. Floyd will get it right around two yards deep in his end zone. He crosses the 10 to 15. He's got a hole open again. Nice cutback. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, New Mexico Stars. And that's exactly what the Stars needed. A huge play by a playmaker. Number 11. Josh Floyd steps up, 5'10", 185 pound returner to this New Mexico Star team. He is gonna go the distance from one end to the other for a touchdown. Number 19, Zeke out for the extra point. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It is right through the gut. 45 to 41. Is your score, the Stars take the lead, and how quick they do so. 9.45 left in the third quarter. That touchdown brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. They're more than just a sports grill. They also bring you entertainment. Dr. Herman's Orthodontist is another one of our sponsors for the New Mexico Stars. Batteries Plus, as well as Mobile Forklift. So Floyd chalks himself up for a touchdown today. That's his first. And Floyd leads the Lone Star Football League in touchdowns as of this game today he was in first place in that category with four touchdowns on the season make it five now so deep back for the rattlesnakes is McGee he's joined by Little A. Rivalo is going to kick off for the Stars. He's had a huge game himself. Number 19, Zeke, with the kick. Low knuckleball. That's going to be taken by McGee around the two-yard line. Cuts back across the 15. He's hit immediately by a number of Stars. But the first one there is number 42. That's Yuka. He's joined by number 6, Odie. Number six, Odie, for the defensive side of the ball for the Stars. He's ranked number 10 in the league with 10, excuse me, he's ranked number 10 in the league in tackles. He's ranked number one in sacks and number ones for tackles of loss. That's number six, Cedric Odie, the linebacker. There's McGee in motion. There's a quick pass completed right across the middle. Going to be close to a first down as that ground caused that fumble. Of course, the ground cannot cause a fumble, so it'll stay Rattler's ball. That was enough for the first down of Moore as you gain 12 for the Rattlesnakes. That was number six. That's Jenkins. Number 
Number six, Demarcus Jenkins, 6'4", 230 pounds from Texas Southern. Clark in motion. Randall's going to scramble around, has all day to throw the ball. Touchdown again to Randall Clark on the left side of that defense. He's able to get behind the cornerback. That's number eight, Bruno. But I got to tell you, the Stars need to get some pressure on this quarterback. Randall had probably seven seconds to throw that football. They have got to get some pressure on that quarterback. There's a snap to hold the kick. And that goes right through. So again, the Rattlesnakes fight back and take the lead yet again. 48 to 45. That's got to drive you insane as a defensive coach. And they're not doing anything fancy, are the Rattlesnakes. They're running just a straight fly pattern up the left side of the field. It's just the corner not able to get back. Let's see if they can get that cleaned up. A lot of football left. 8.09 left in this third quarter. As number 11, Floyd is deep, as well as number 5, Smith. Floyd takes it as deep as the end zone can go. He goes airborne. He's going to be brought down around the 15-yard line. So the Stars will take over first down and 10 from the 15. This is brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. So Crawford and company take the field. Manley and Bruno lined up to the left. Number 11, Floyd is your motion receiver. Quick pitch out to Smith. He's going to cut that back as there was nothing there. And he makes something into out of nothing. He's going to be close to a first down. Let's see way, where they're going to put it. And I'll tell you what, I'd like to see this happen a lot more. Every time the Stars have ran this quick pitch to Smith, it has been one heck of a success. I think that would keep their corners off the back of their heels and make them pay attention to this running back, Smith, that they have that is number two rusher in the league. Run that ball a little more. Keep those corners honest. There's a snap going deep. Nobody open. Finally able to make that pass complete as Bruno does a great job of realizing that his quarterback Crawford was in trouble. He cuts across the field, gets some separation from number 22, the Rattlers cor cornerback. And that's going to be enough for a Zebra Sports Bar and Grill first down. So first down and 10 for the Stars. Manley and Floyd split to the left. Bruno goes into motion with them. Pass is complete. Let's see if Floyd could get in the end zone. Oh, and his feet come out from underneath him. He had so much momentum. As soon as he changed directions, he was unable to hold on. And he falls short of the end zone. But that should be enough for a first down, and it is. That's what we like to call a zebra sports bar and grill first down. So now we've got first down and goal for the Stars on the two-yard line. Let's see if they use these bruising offensive linemen to get it in the end zone. 
There's a snap, fake pitch, keeper, touchdown, it should have been. It looked like he got it across the line. I am completely shocked that that headlinesman did not see the ball cross the line. I will freak out if they do not call this a touchdown. That ball clear as day past the line for a touchdown. And they're going to call him down. There's a penalty. That sh probably is going to go against the Rattlesnakes. One of the defenders probably did not like the call. Had a little something to say to the official. And I, I guess it's a good thing the Stars keep the ball, but that should have been a touchdown without question. So with the penalty, instead of it being second down and goal, now becomes first down and goal. So under center is Crawford. He splits everybody out to the left side. There's a snap. Hand off to Smith. Touchdown. No doubt about it. Number five gets in the end zone for his second touchdown of the night. And he's going to keep that football as a souvenir. And guess what? He gives it to a fan. That's the way it should be. And you cannot go wrong when you hand it off to a big, speedy running back like Smith. Here's number 19, Zeke, for the extra point try. There's a snap, the hold, the kick. It's up, it's good. That's your Dr. Herman Orthopedic. Score 52 to 48. The Stars regain the lead. What a game this is going to be. Third quarter, four minutes and 30 seconds left to go, and our score is 52 to 48. This game surely is going to come down to the team that stops the opposing offense for that one important play. Both defenses are struggling right now to stop one another. So deep back for the Rattlesnakes are the usual returners. Number nine, that's McGee. Number two, that's Little. And number 19, Zeke, doing the kickoff duties for the Stars. Fifty-two to forty-eight is your score. Let's see what defense steps up. And changes the outlook of this game. Hard line drive. That's taken by McGee around the five. He's got some room to run. He tried to get to the outside. Is unable to. Number three able to corral him up. That's Chaz Thompson. But not after another fantastic return by McGee to put his offense in great field position. So first down and ten. So Randall calls for Clark to go in motion. There's the snap. Quick pitch out to McGee. The Stars weren't ready for this. He's still on his feet. And what a great play call that was. 
Now we're going to have a penalty, and that should be roughing the passer against number four of the Stars. Sure enough, that goes against Brody. Unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against number four. So not only do they get the first down, they're going to get the first down and the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty marked off. So that puts the rattlesnakes right directly into the red zone. Puts the ball right on the five-yard line. The Rattlesnakes are last, dead last in the league in red zone scoring. They do not look like that tonight, I'll tell you that much. There's a snap, Randall scrambling. He's got all day to throw again, and another Rattlesnake touchdown to number nine, McGee. And unfortunately, that left side of the defense, excuse me, the right side of the defense is just struggling. So here's the extra point attempt by Erickson. There's a snap to hold. The kick is up, and it is good right through the uprights. And again, the Rattlesnakes take the lead 55-52. to Again, it's tough for a cornerback to cover somebody for longer than three seconds. And unfortunately, up to this point, we just have not gotten any kind of pressure on Randall, the quarterback for the Rattlesnakes. Thus enabling him to stand back there and give him all day to throw the football. That leaves the secondary for the Stars out to dry. But no question about it, Coach Williams will get that cleaned up in no time. Here's the kickoff. Number 11, Floyd is deep. In front of him is Smith. High kick hits. Hits the Raptors again. Comes down and it smacks one of the Rattlesnakes players in the helmet. That ball should be marked close to the 25-yard line. That's mid-direct field. So let's see where they give it to him. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line for the New Mexico Stars. So Crawford and company takes the field. He's going to have three receivers lined up to the left side. That's Floyd, Manley, and Bruno. There's a snap. He's running for his life as Crawford. He's going to take it and run. And what a great weapon that is for the Stars when you have a quarterback who can tuck the ball and make things happen with his legs. What a great signing this was by Abe Hernandez and Coach Williams to get this quarterback in here. First down and 10 for the Stars. That's a Zebra Sports Bar and Grill first down. So Manley's going to line up to the right side of the field. He's going to be joined by Bruno. Floyd is your receiver in motion. There's a snap by Crawford. Looking down his receiver. He's got one open. That should be a catch. Let's see if it is in a face mac, though. I could not see the catch, but I'll tell you, I sure seen the face mask. But let's see what that penalty is out onto the field. What a great catch that was in concentration by number nine. That's Marcus Allen. We have a player injured out on the field. I'm 
So that puts the Stars in great field position. Should be first down and goal from about the one-yard line. The one thing I can tell you about the injured player is when he hit the wall, his back bowed completely back, backwards. So that could be an issue here. But I like to see the Stars not mess around, just hand this football off to their big bruising running back, Smith, and get him in the end zone right now. So number 22 was the injured player. That's Maurice Holmes. He's able to get up. He's got to be carried off with some assistance from his players. It looks like his knee is what's injured on the play. Unfortunately, where they seat us, we are way up here, so you can't see a whole lot of the replay, but the, the fans showing some sportsmanship as they give a standing ovation for the injured player that he's okay so now we got a zebra sports bar and grill first down and goal Crawford under center the big bruising running back Smith behind him and we're going to have a penalty already the white hat throws the penalty looks like he's going to pick up the flag and wave it off let's see if that's the case it sure is. So the White Hat throws a penalty. And he picks up the flag. <laughs> he kind of giggles about it. Realizes he threw it unintentionally. What he's seen is not what he's seen. And how many times have we argued that with an official? <laughs> Here's Crawford under center. There's a snap. Hand off to Smith. Wasting no time. Touchdown. Surprise, surprise. When you have a running back like Smith, don't even hesitate. Get it in the end zone. And I'll tell you what I love about Smith. He just appreciates his fans. He shows them love every chance he gets. He threw that football up as a souvenir up into the stands. And here comes Zeke with the... Extra point try. There's a snap to hold the kick. It's right through the pipes. And that's a Dr. Herman orthopedic. Excuse me. Dr. Herman orthodontic. Touchdown. Your score, 59 to 55. With 50 seconds left in this third quarter. The Stars take the lead and Smith has three touchdowns on the evening you can easily see why Smith is the second ranked running back in this league Zeke Arabalo out to kick off for the Stars. Number two, Little. Number nine, McGee, deep for the Rattlesnakes. They will line up in their own end zone. And Zeke kicks. A lot more strange than most people. Line drive caught by number three as he got about a 95 mile an hour fastball. He catches it with one palm. That's number three Bragg. He doesn't get much yardage. He caught that ball right around the 20 yard line. He gained six. So first down and 10 for the Rattlesnakes. Randall and company break huddle. He's going to have Jenkins and McGee to the right side. Clark in motion with them. Hand a pitch to number 44. That's Harris. 
He's brought down by the big defensive lineman. That's number 99, Lucero. But not after a gain of five on the play. So second down and five for the Rattlesnakes. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Your New Mexico Stars lead this game 59 to 55. The Rattlesnakes on the move though. Both teams again one and one looking to gain some position within the league. All the stars take the field in this huddle. We are in the championship round, fourth quarter. And here we go. Mexico Stars Galaxy Dance team out on the field doing their thing. Today's game brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill located in Farmington, New Mexico. Amazing food, amazing drinks, but even more amazing entertainment. They bring you the likes of the UFC fights, NASCAR, football, baseball, you name the sport, they've got it there with over 20 flat screen TVs. Zebra Sports Bar and Grill, our game day sponsor. Dr. Herman's Orthodontist, our proud sponsor of the New Mexico Stars. Batteries Plus and Mobile Forklift. The Galaxy Dancers are done. They are going to leave the field and we will start our championship round now. Fourth quarter. The Stars lead 59 to 55, and they, with no question, need a big stop here with this Rattlesnake offense being pesky. They have been able to answer every single touchdown the Stars have been able to come up with. So second down and six for the Rattlesnakes. Randall under center. Jenkins, that ball was blocked. Pass was incomplete. The ball went flying about 20 feet in the air. And Randall does the smart thing by knocking the ball down. So third down and six. Randall calls for Clark in motion. There's a snap. He throws. Caught. Touchdown. Clark yet again. And that is Clark's fourth touchdown on the night. As he's able to get behind number three, that's Thompson. And Clark is somebody to not mess with. 6'3", 195 pounds from Southern University. He is about as legit as you get as a wide receiver. Number 14, Erickson, with the extra point attempt. There's the snap. It hits the backside of the snapper. We're going to have pass intercepted. This should go back by number 10. That's Manley, and it does. What a play that was. The snapper for the Rattlesnakes snaps the ball, unfortunately. It hits his leg as it goes back. Clark picks it up, tries to make a play. You can't blame Clark for that. But number 10, that's Manley, goes airborne and picks that pass off. He takes it to the house for a three-point conversion. We have a tie ball game, 61-61. to 61. 
And this changes the complete outlook of this game. What a great play that was by Manley. So not only do the Stars get the three points, now the Rattlesnakes have to kick the football off to the Stars. So Floyd is deep to return the kick. Number five, Smith, lined up right around the five-yard line. There's the kick by Erickson, taken around the goal line from Floyd, crossing the 20, looking for an opening. He changes direction. He crosses the 25. He's going to be hit and brought down by number two. That's Little. Nice return for the Stars. Floyd puts him in great field position. First down and 10 from the 23-yard line. Coach Williams and his quarterback Crawford get their play called in. Crawford breaks huddle. Manley will be your motion wideout. Number nine, Allen, lined up in the slot receiver with Floyd. There's the snap. He's got nobody open. He keeps it. He's got some room to run. He's going to be brought down by the big defensive lineman. Number 74. That's Sweeney. But not after Crawford gains the first down. And more. That's a Zebra Sports Bar and Grill first down. So now we have first down and 10 within the red zone for the Stars. And what an excellent debut this is for this first year starter. And on that note, first game starter, Crawford. He has never started a game in an arena football league, football game ever. There's a snap, the pass, it's caught. Fighting for the end zone is number nine, Allen. He's not able to get there. He is close though. He's even more close to a first down. And what a play that was by Allen. He slips on the turf. The ball's thrown low by Crawford. Great throw by Crawford. An even better job on Allen's part to keep his concentration about him and catch that football one-handed. So we have second down and short. We're going to have a timeout. New Mexico Stars call a timeout. The Stars are right around the two-yard line. Let's see if they just hand the ball off to Smith. It's worked every single play up to this point. Stars coming up with the game plan. They are second down and inches from the first down, but they are second down to the end zone. Let's see if Coach Williams just hands it off to Smith and let him barrel forward. The Snakes bring in the big guys, though. They've got four big bodies lined up in the middle. And here we go, Crawford under center. Hand off to, fake hand off to Smith. Crawford keeps it. He's still on his feet. That goes nowhere. The Rattlesnakes were not fooled on that play. As Crawford was brought down by number 74. That's Sweeney. 
Crawford runs over to Coach Williams. The Stars actually lose yardage on that play. It was second down in inches. They go back now to third down and two. The snake, excuse me, the rattlesnakes still have their big bodies in the middle. Pitch to Smith. He cuts back. He dives for the end zone. He's not able to get there. It's going to be close to a first down. And it's not. They're going to give it fourth down for the Stars. A big decision by Coach Williams here. But I'll tell you, with the athleticism that Crawford has, you like to see him take the ball under center and use his long body just to dive over everybody. He's got a ton of height on him. Crawford is a 6'5", 210-pound quarterback. Let's see what Coach Williams has mustered up. We got fourth down, but we can still get a first down here. Let's see what we come up with. The big bodies are even more. There's five of them in the game now. Hand off to Smith. He should have got in. Let's see. Touchdown. And this name never gets old. That's a touchdown, Seth Smith. And that is the fourth touchdown by Smith. And I'll tell you, it's worked three other times you've ran it. Why go away from anything else Zeke out to kick the extra point try there's a snap the hold the kick is up and it is good that's your Dr. Herman orthodontics touchdown and extra point the Stars lead this game 68-61 to in the fourth quarter 9.50 left in this game Stars with such a huge heads up play that play of the game has to be that manly interception on the extra point try where he takes it back to the house for three points to tie this game up Then the Stars able to come out and put a long, grinding drive together to take the lead 68-61. to Let's see if the Stars' defense can keep pace with their Stars' offense. Zeke out to kick for the Stars. Deep back for the Rattlesnakes, number two. That's Little, and number nine, that's McGee. So Zeke decides to put the ball on the tee traditionally now north and south instead of laying flat on its side there's a squib kick taken by number two that's little he's got some room to run he's in the open field should have been a hold and it is they got the holding there by number three of the rattlesnakes that is michael bragg and i'll tell you that play is exactly what I was telling you earlier. When you see a penalty, you want the penalty to call itself. There was no question on that one that he was being held. The line judge caught it. And he throws a penalty, and it's going to go from the spot of the foul and 10 yards back. First down and 10 from the 20 for the Rattlesnakes. 
And that goes back to this Rattlesnake team. They lead this entire league in penalties. So Randall breaks the huddle. He's got Williams, Clark, and now McGee. Pitch out to Clark. He's got some room. He's still on his feet. He's finally brought down by number 33 of the Stars. That's Yabo. And that is close to a first down. Let's see if they give it to him. That brings up a second down and short. So the defense, they just need to keep them out of the end zone. And they need to get pressure on number five, Randall, the quarterback for the Rattlesnakes. That's Williams in motion. There's a snap. Quick throw. Caught. Completed to number six, Jenkins. And he's going to have enough for the first down and more as he gains seven. First down and ten for the Rattlesnakes. They mark the ball down on the 14, pardon me, the 15-yard line. Randall calls for Williams in motion. There's a snap. He's looked Williams' way. Throws it out here to the tackle. Eligible again. He is a big load. And they finally get him out of bounds. As number 10, that's Manley, gets him into the sidewall. The fans kind of go crazy a little bit because the tackle for the Rattlesnakes, number 75, that's Evans. Hits the face mask of number 10, Manley. So they're calling for a penalty. But the official right on top of that call, he says, no, sir. Randall calls for Clark in motion. He's got McGee and Williams there as well. There's a snap, a penalty. Pass is completed to McGee, who gets under the would-be tackler, number 8, Bruno. Let's see what the penalty is called. who it's against and it looks like it's going against the stars somebody lined up offsides and sure enough it was somebody lined up over the football that will give the rattlesnakes a first down so first and goal for Laredo 68 to 61 is your score. Seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they hand it off to the big bruising running back, Harris. Randall calls Clark in motion. He's going to keep it himself. Touchdown. And there was no question about that. Randall kept that all the way. Designed keeper. And he gets in the end zone. Sixty-eight to sixty-seven. This is a huge extra point attempt. I'd like to see the stars get some pressure on this kick. Eric's in the kicker ready. He gives a nod. There's a call for the ball. The snap, the hold, the kick. It's up and it's good. We're knotted up at sixty-eight. Six thirty-one left in this fourth quarter. And what a game this is, brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill. One heck of a football game right now. We also like to thank Dr. Herman Orthodontics for their sponsorship. As well as Batteries Plus and Mobile Forklift. So the Rattlesnakes will kick off to the Stars deep in the end zone. It's going to be number 11, Floyd. Lined up around the five-yard line is going to be number five, Smith. Number 14, Erickson, kicking off for the Rattlesnakes. Both teams are one and one on the season. Somebody's going to move to one and two. The other moves on to two and one. 
and gain solid position within the Lone Star Football League. So here's the Erickson kick, it's deep. Floyd takes it around five yards deep, he passes the 10, the 15, the 20. He's gonna be hit right around the 20, he's brought down around the 21. So first down and 10 for the Stars. Coach Williams has his play called in with Crawford. Crawford in the huddle, they break. Little confusion, looks like they're missing somebody. That's exactly what they're doing. They're missing a player. And they're missing the usual number 10, Manley. I'm not sure where he's at. But number nine, Allen, joins the game. There's a pass completed to number 11. That's Floyd. He should be close to a first down. And we're going to have a penalty as one of the Rattlesnake players get up after that play and they push the New Mexico Stars player back to the ground as Floyd was trying to get up after the play. The official is not going to have any of that. He throws his flag, unsportsmanlike conduct, dead ball against the Rattlesnakes. So that will definitely be a Zebra Sports Bar and Grill first down and you can tack on 15 yards to that. That's going to bring up first down and 10 from the 10. So it's going to be first down and goal. Floyd, the receiver lined up to the left. You're going to have number nine, Allen. Number eight, Bruno. And we're going to have a false start against number nine, Allen. So Allen comes out of the game. Number 10, Manley checks back into the game. Manley is going to be your motion receiver to the right side of the field. Number 9, Allen in the slot. There's a snap. Quick pitch to Smith. Smith's hit immediately, still on his feet. They should give him four progress of about a half a yard. And number 10, Manley, comes back out of the game. He must be injured, and that's why he wasn't out before. So number eight, Bruno, checks into the game. He's been playing defense. He's going to line up on the right side of the field with number nine, Allen. And number 11, Floyd, is your motion receiver. He's going to join trips to the right. There's a snap. Passed out. Thrown short as he had number nine, Allen, open. Crawford one hops him. And really, Allen had a ton of time to, to throw the football. He just needed to set his feet up and get his shoulders squared up to make that pass complete. Would have been an excellent completion. Brings up third down and long now to the end zone. Crawford under center. Smith, his running back, lined up behind him. Floyd is your receiver in motion. There's the snap. He's got pressure, Crawford. He's still on his feet. Looking to make something happen. He throws it up for anybody. Incomplete. What a great play that was by the secondary of the Rattlesnakes. The pass was intended for Floyd. Number seven makes up a ton of ground for the Rattlesnakes. That's Trahan. And it's going to bring up a fourth down. Let's see if Williams, Coach Williams goes for it or if he brings out Zeke. He wastes no time in breaking out Zeke. Aravalo, 
Number 11, Floyd holding for him. Zeke is already good from 37. He tells him he's ready. There's a snap. The hold. The kick is up. It's got plenty of leg, and that's money. What a kick by Zeke. Aravalo. And that is your Dr. Herman orthodontist score for the Stars. 71 to 68 is your score. Brought to you by Zebra Sports Bar and Grill as our game day sponsor. We will have our Zebra Sports Bar and Grill player of the game at the conclusion of this fourth quarter. 250 left. This is where the Stars defense have got to. There is no if, ands, or buts. They have got to come up with a huge stop now. Number two, Little. And number nine, McGee, deep for the Rattlesnakes. Zeke Aravalo to kick off for the Stars. And the Stars need to come up with a huge special team play here. They got to tackle him deep into their own territory. McGee is going to be brought down right around the 10 yard line. An excellent play by number 33. That's Kwame Yabo. And that's exactly what the Stars needed. They needed to have the Rattlesnakes go the distance of the field to score. There's only two minutes and 30 seconds left in this fourth quarter. If you needed your defense to step up more than any time in this game, now is the time. Randall under center. Number nine, McGee is going to be your motion receiver. There's the snap. Quick pass out completed to Williams on his feet. Fumble on the ground. And this should be recovered by the Stars. That's exactly what we needed, and it is. Recovered by number 99. What a play that was for the Stars, and that's exactly what I was just saying. The Stars needed to come up with a great play, and that's exactly what they just done. What a huge strip that was. Now the Stars need to punch this in. They've got to get some distance. Anybody who knows arena football knows that it does not take a whole lot of time to score. So the Stars need to do a great job of killing some time off the clock and making sure they punch it in the end zone. And again, the Stars are missing a player. I don't think the guys realize that number 10, Manley, is still injured. So Coach Williams is going to call a timeout and get his team organized, get them settled in. Manley left the last possession with a bum leg and he has not come back ever since then so coach Williams is going to get his crew settled in settle down and find a way to knock off a ton of time off this clock they still have a three-point lead, so they'd like to punch it in the end zone. Pardon me. So Crawford, with your Zebra Sports Bar and Grill, first down and ten. They're going to have Bruno, who's going to be the motion receiver, along with Allen and Floyd. There's a handoff to Smith. <coughs> And what quicker way to kill time than a handoff to your running back? Arena football is laid out a lot like basketball, where a minute 30 or even a minute or under is a ton of time. So Crawford doing a great job of killing as much time off the clock as he possibly can. Under centers, he's going to go. Smith is running back lined up behind him. 
You've got Allen and Bruno lined up to the left. Number 11, Floyd is your receiver. And this is not what you wanted to do. Number 11, Floyd goes into motion. You're going to be called for a false start. Against the Stars, that moves them back 10 yards. Excuse me, 5 yards. So now we have a second down and 12. And the clock should start here shortly. And they're going to kill it. That's going to be the one-minute warning. So Coach Williams will have some more time to talk this over with his offense. the Galaxy dancers throwing free t-shirts out to the crowd. Again, our next home game is April 27th here at the Santa Ana Star Center in Rio Rancho. We'll have a whole bunch of things coming out that's new, a new text line where you can interact with me, make comments, whatever they may be, as long as they're clean, of course. And here we go. One minute left in the fourth quarter. Crawford under center. Smith lined up behind him. Number 11, Floyd, is going to be your receiver in motion. Bruno and Allen lined up to the left side. There's a snap. Five-step drop. He's got a receiver open. That's caught and out of his hands. That would have been a huge play. You could stick a fork in the rattlesnakes if number nine, Allen, comes up with that play. Unfortunately, Crawford had to airborne that ball a little bit to get it over the leaping linebacker of the Rattlesnakes. And Allen went up high, just not able to hold on to the football as he came down. So third down, that only took six seconds off the clock. So that shows you how huge that catch had to be at that point in time. Trips to the left side, you've got Allen Bruno, Floyd, Allen in motion. There's a snap. Ton of pressure on Crawford. He's still on his feet. He's got to get rid of it. Incomplete. And we're going to have a penalty on the play. The strange thing is there's only 53 seconds. The clock was at 54 when that snap incurred. Only a second went off the clock. I don't understand that. And if I'm Coach Williams, I'm asking the white hat how only one second came off the clock. It's fourth down. That's understandable. But there was at least seven seconds run off that clock, or at least should have been. The clock was at 54 when Crawford took the snap. It's at 53. So Coach Williams does not hesitate. He brings in Zeke Aravalo. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick is up. It's got plenty of leg. It's good. What a kick. And a little time. Run off the clock. The Rattlesnake coach not happy about that. That score brought to you by Dr. Herman Orthodontist. Now again, 46 seconds in arena football is all the time in the world. The defense have got to step up again. Your score is 74 to 68. That's only a six-point lead for the Stars. Right. 
so the the special teams for the Stars need to come up with another huge play. That ball stayed in bounds. The bad thing about that was the fans touched the ball. If they would not have touched the ball, that ball would still be live in play. And the Stars would have had a nice track out on the would-be returner, number nine, McGee. Therefore, the officials are going to meet together and discuss where this ball is going to be marked out at. So what they did was they called the Stars for a penalty because the fans interfered with the ball in play. So they penalize the Stars. Thus, first down and 10 from the 15 for the Rattlesnakes. The official still having a congregation about making sure that everything is correctly called. And here we go. We are ready for play. It all comes down to this. Randall under center. We're going to have a penalty already as well from the umpire. And we have a false start. And people are asking, how do we have a false start when we're walking up to the line? The problem with that was the center picked up the football and moved it. So the center was called on that penalty for picking up the ball. Takes him back five yards, first down at 15. Clark is going to be your motion receiver with McGee and Williams. Randall calls for the ball, quick pitch out to McGee. Trying to look for some room. There should be a face mask. I don't believe the officials caught it. It was hard to see down there on that side with all those bodies around. McGee having a conversation with the head linesman saying, hey, did you not see that face mask? Unfortunately, he did it. Second down and seven for the Rattlesnakes. So first down, he's going to call for McGee to go in motion. That's going to be Williams with him. There's the snap. Deep goes McGee. He's open. He's going to dump it off down low to Williams. They got to tackle him out of bounds, and they do, but not after an enormous chunk of yardage is gained. 26 yards on the play. And that was against number three, the cornerback Thompson. The Stars have got to hold it together right here. This defensive front for the Stars need to get some pressure big time on Randall or Randall will pick them apart he calls for McGee in motion with Clark and Williams there's a snap quick pitch out to Clark he's got some room to run he's going to be smashed up against the boards by number six that's Cedric Odie that will stop the clock yet again so 23 seconds The linebackers, though, for the Stars need to keep a close eye on Randall. He's beat him a couple of times as they went back into coverage. They need to keep a close eye on him. There's a snap pitch to the big bruising running back. He's still on his feet. He's still on his feet. And what a big possible mistake that was. The Stars defenders are going for the football. Instead of bringing him down short of the first down, they go, they attempt to strip the football. It gives them that extra yardage to get the first down. Now we got first and goal. And this puts the Stars' defensive backs up against the wall. Sixty-eight to sixty-four is your score. 
Let's see if this Stars defense can get nasty right now. Because that's exactly what it's going to take to keep this Rattlesnake offense out of the end zone. And here we go. Ten seconds left. The Stars need to come up with a huge stop here. Number one, Clark split out with solo coverage to the left. McGee and Williams to the right. Randall under center. Here's the snap. It's a keeper. Randall again. Touchdown. The same play he scored on twice previously. He will score on again and knock this up 74 to 74. This is a huge kick for number 14, Erickson, to take the lead with six seconds left. He feels the pressure, calls for the ball. There's the snap, the hold, the kick, it's up. That is good, but let's see what the penalty's on. And it looks like it's against the Stars, and if it is, the Rattlesnakes have the lead. And it is against the Stars. There was an illegal defender on the defense, meaning that the defender lined up in an illegal position, declined the Stars, trail this game 75 to 74. Complete silence in the stadium right now in disbelief. The Stars had a pretty comfortable lead. Let's see if they can make some magic happen again. Floyd for the Stars has already taken one to the house on a kick return. Let's see if they opt to have a good return around the 15 to 20 yard line. They can get the distance. And let's see if they leave it in uh, Zeke Aravalo's hands to kick it off. Because the clock does not start until the ball is touched. And that would be one heck of a strategy for the Stars. Get it around the 15 to the 20-yard line and bring Zeke out onto the field to give it that kick attempt. Let's see what the Stars and Coach Williams come up with. Here's a kickoff by Erickson. It's high. It's deep. It's to the back of the end zone. Floyd takes it out. Two. One. He's got to take it to the house or it's nothing. He's brought down. The clock runs out. And that is going to be a one-point loss. by the stars and everybody in here is about as shocked as I am right now what a heck of a ball game that was 75-74 the Laredo Rattlesnakes win this game they move on to 2-1 and one on the season the stars fall to 1-2 and two. And our player of the game for the stars without question is going to be number five, Seth Smith. You can text me, excuse me, you can email me your name, your address, and your phone number to desert.sports at q.com. Again, that's desert.sports at q, just the letter q, dot com. Your player of the game for the Stars is number five, Seth Smith. Four touchdowns on the day. And your stars fall to one and two. Our next home game will be April 27th here at the Santa Ana Star Center. I'm Albert Velarde. I'd like to thank Zebra Sports Bar and Grill for bringing us this game, as well as Dr. Herman Orthodontics, Batteries Plus, and Mobile Forklift. Albert Velarde, thanking you for checking in, and God bless.
Have a great night.